What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Credit Plug channel where we talk about how to build credit, how to establish relationships with banks and financial institutions, and most importantly, how to get you access to high limit credit funding. If you're new to our channel or if you've been checking out our content, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as smash the like button. It helps our content reach a wider audience and we greatly appreciate the support. So for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can get approved for a Sam's Club business credit card or MasterCard. So as a lot of you already know, Sam's Club business credit card and MasterCard was one of the only credit cards that you can get approved for that's exclusively based on business credit, meaning that you don't have to personally guarantee or undergo a personal credit check in order to get this credit card. Now, they do have two versions of this particular credit card. They have a regular store card, which you can only use at Sam's Club as well as Walmart, and they have a MasterCard where you could use anywhere that MasterCard is accepted. Now, one of the cool things about the Sam's Club business credit card is that you can apply for it without having to undergo a hard personal credit check. So let's say you have very bad credit and you wanna get a business credit card, all you would pretty much have to do is register your business, get your business set up, and then start building vendor credit with tier one business credit vendors. Once you've established a low risk business credit profile, then you can be eligible to apply for the Sam's Club Business MasterCard and get approved. Now, if you don't have established business credit, then you may have to personally guarantee. Now, that's another route that you can go. I typically wouldn't recommend it, especially if you're trying to keep that off of your personal credit, or if you have bad credit and your credit isn't good enough to qualify for a business credit card. So the Sam's Club Business MasterCard is one of the best in my opinion because any small business as long as you follow a sequence of steps you can get approved for a business credit card now a couple months ago I decided to go for my second Sam's Club credit card so I did a video several years ago about how I was able to get the Sam's Club business credit card so after going through that process and gathering some data points I decided to actually apply for the Sam's Club business credit card with a separate business and I'm gonna walk through exactly what you need to do in order to qualify for the Sam's Club business credit card or business MasterCard. Now, the first step of the process is to have a real business. So you wanna make sure your business is registered. If you're trying to use a CPN or anything like that, it's not gonna work. So if anyone wants to register a business, we've provided links to all 50 Secretary of State websites. So you don't have to go searching around for it. All this information is in one place. Also, a direct link to get your EIN from the IRS. You're also going to want to get a DNB Dun and Bradstreet number. They're actually not using DNB in order to qualify, so they're going to be using your Experian and Telescore to qualify for you. And I'm going to jump over in just a second and show you how you want to structure your business credit file in order to get qualified. Now, ideally, you're going to want a low risk business credit profile, so it's possible for you to get approved for the Sam's Club credit card even if you're not at that low risk profile. And I'm gonna break down exactly all the different categories of the IntelliScore. Now, in order to get to a low risk profile, all you need is a couple of vendors. Nowadays, there's a lot of tier one vendors that you can get as a very new business. So it's very easy to build business credit. I posted links in the description of the video. So let's say once you get about four to five vendors reporting on your Experian and Telescore, then you can go to Sam's Club and apply for the business MasterCard. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure that your business has an established online footprint because Synchrony Bank, which is the underwriter of the Sam's Club credit card, does verify a lot of your business information so you're going to want to make sure that you're in good standing with the Secretary of State you're going to want to also make sure that when you go in person to apply that you bring the proper documentations because they may ask for it now not every Sam's Club representative is going to ask for all of your documents but just print it out just in case they do ask for it something to also keep in mind is to make sure that when you go in that you're applying for the business credit card because from my experience and this has happened on multiple occasions where the representative didn't even know about the business application. So you're not gonna be providing your social security number in order to apply. If they're asking you for your social security number, just confirm that they're actually entering your information for the business credit application. 
Anyways, let's jump over and I'm gonna walk you through how to structure your business credit report in order to get qualified and approved for the Sam's Club business credit card. All right, so here I have an Experian business credit report pulled up and I'm gonna be walking through some of the important components that you wanna keep in mind when it comes to getting business credit. Now, this is the actual business credit report of the business that I use to get approved for a $20,000 Sam's Club business credit card. So one of the most important things you wanna make sure is that the address that you're using on the application is consistent with what's on your business credit report as well as what's filed with the Secretary of State because on the back end, Synchrony Bank, which is the underwriter of the Sam's Club business credit card, is going to be using that information to verify and confirm your business. So just make sure all that information is consistent. You also want to keep in mind of the SIC or the NAICS codes. Those are the different business classifications. So that can have a bearing on the types of business credit that you're approved for as well as the the limits. Now, some vendors want to focus on certain types of businesses. For the most part, the Sam's Club Business MasterCard is going to be open to any type of business. From my understanding, there's not too many businesses that aren't going to be eligible based on their business type. So there's several different categories of risk level when it comes to your Experian and Telescore. You have high risk, high to medium risk, medium risk, medium to low risk, as well as low risk. And ideally you wanna be in this low risk category. So a credit score from 76 to 100 is low risk. And that's usually the sweet spot you wanna be in when it comes to getting approved for the Sam's Club Business MasterCard or credit card. But there are cases where people are able to get approved even if they're not in the low risk. So you can get approved if you're in the low to medium risk, but your starting credit limit isn't gonna be as high. So sometimes it's actually worthwhile to wait a little bit until you have a couple more vendors reporting before you go ahead and apply for the Sam's Club Business MasterCard. Because although you can get approved, you might have a lower starting limit like 3,000, 4,000, as opposed to 8,000, 10,000, or even 20,000, which is the case that I experienced. So the different factors that affect your business credit score is gonna be the number of trade experiences, your balance is outstanding, your payment habits, credit utilization, as well as trends over time. You also wanna keep in mind any public records or information, as well as your SIC code. So by default, some business classifications are more high risk than others. So depending on your business classification, your business credit score can increase or decrease based on what's going on in the economy. So for example, during the pandemic, there were a lot of entertainment types of businesses or restaurants that were high risk because a lot of people weren't spending money and a lot of those businesses weren't able to survive. So there could be things outside of your control when it comes to your business credit scores that is not gonna be a reflection of how you're handling your business, but an overall reflection of what's going on based off of similar types of businesses. There's also what's called the financial stability risk rating. So this is on a scale from one to five. Now, ideally you wanna be in that low risk category as the same you wanna be with your IntelliScore. You wanna be in the low risk category because that's gonna put you in the best chances of getting approved for different types of business credit vendors. All right, so let's recap how to get approved for the Sam's Club Business Credit Card or Sam's Club Business MasterCard. So the first step is having a business. Now, and if you don't know the steps in order to register your business, we've posted links in our link tree. So this has all 50 Secretary of State websites, as well as a website to get your Dun & Bradstreet number, as well as your EIN. Now you can get all of this for free, at least your DNB, as well as your EIN. Secretary of State, there are filing fees and that may vary from state to state, but you should expect you know, to pay a couple hundred dollars to register your business. Once you have your business set up, what you wanna do is start building tier one vendor accounts. Now, I've done several videos, but off the top of my head, there's a handful of different vendors that you can use that'll extend net 30 types of vendors that report to the business credit reporting agencies. So you could do things like the Business T-Shirt Club, you have the CEO Creative, you have Divi, there's a handful, I've dropped links in the description of the video. So what you wanna do ideally is get about, I would say anywhere from 
five to seven tier one vendors. Now you have to wait until those actually post. Don't just sign up for all these vendors and then immediately go sign up for Sam's Club because until those report, it's not gonna be reflected on your credit report. And so if you just sign up for these and then immediately go to Sam's Club, then you're gonna get denied because it may not show up on your credit report just yet. Now, another thing, I know a lot of people have used like Quill, Uline, Granger in the past. Now, a couple years ago, those were some of the few business credit vendors that you can get. But nowadays, there's so many different vendors that you can get. You don't necessarily have to go through Quill and Uline and Granger because what those companies have done since is required that you order multiple items before they start reporting. There's new companies now that will report immediately. The best one I would say to start out with is NAV because NAV is going to report regardless if you have any credit reporting. Uh, you can go with CEO Creative Business T-Shirt Club. There's Crown Office Supplies. I've dropped all of them in the description of the video. So once you have about five to seven reporting, then what you want to do is go in person and apply for the Sam's Club MasterCard or uh, credit card. Now, you can't apply online. You do have to go in physically. So that's one of the downsides. And also, when you do get to the store and apply for the card, make sure that you're applying for the business credit card because I've gone in several times and a lot of other clients have experiences where the front end customer service are not aware of the business credit application and they'll be asking for your social security number. Now, there is an option to personally guarantee the Sam's Club business credit card, but if you're building business credit, there's no need to go that route. Plus, you don't wanna have that reporting on your personal credit if you don't have to. So you could just follow the steps of building tier one business credit vendors. Once you have about five to seven and you're in that low risk credit profile, then you should feel confident. Now, you can get approved if you have three or four, don't get me wrong, but you're probably gonna have a lower starting limit. If you wait a little bit until some of those vendors report, then you might start off with a higher starting limit. Now, one of the most important things about the business credit application is verification. Now, I've seen cases where people get denied even with excellent business credit, but because they can't verify some of your business information, like your business address, your business telephone number. Uh, so you wanna make sure all that information is congruent. Whatever address that's reporting with the Secretary of State should be the same exact address that's being used on your business credit report in the same address that you're using on your business credit application. I've seen cases where people are using different addresses or you didn't do a change of address form. So there's some mismatch in the addresses that are being pulled. So just make sure all that information is congruent. You're also going to want to have some type of digital footprint for your business. So some type of online presence. Now the Sam's Club Business Credit Card MasterCard is one of the best in my opinion because it's accessible to small businesses who are just starting out. Even if you have terrible credit, you can still build business credit and then be able to get approved for it. Another great thing is that you can get the regular Sam's Club credit card as well as get the Sam's Club MasterCard. So you can get both cards under one business. You can even get credit cards for different businesses. So this is a great way for newer businesses to access some capital. Anyways, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Until next time, take it easy and we'll talk to you soon. Peace.